thank you so much for having me. I'm Kim Petrus. This is Grubhub Sound Bites. I miss performing for you guys so much. Let's go. Miss Clarity coming up. <laughs> So close to something right But we're stupid, but we're stupid, but we're stupid We could turn love into a fight Over nothing, over nothing, over nothing And the only thing we had in common with each other Was destroying everything we ever touched So cheers to us and what we had Let's keep dancing on Does a tragedy like you and me? Cause we're ruthless, cause we're ruthless, cause we're ruthless. And the only thing we had in common with each other was destroying everything we ever touched. So cheers to us and what we had. Let's keep dancing on the broken glass. And all that's left is smoke and ash. So let's keep dancing on the Cheers to us and what we had Let's keep dancing on the broken glass Cause when you're high, you're bound to crash So let's keep dancing on the broken glass Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, ah. 
this song. I love my fans. I miss you guys so much. Yeah. Yeah, I said I'd go, but I'm never leaving. I choke on my words like every time I breathe in. And that's why I tried a million times. Million times. No, I said I'd kick it with you Monday. I want to take it back, but now it's too late. Yeah, I always wake up by your side. By your side. But I'm still pretending and that it's not the ending. I'm going to keep on wasting all my nights on you. Cut the cord. I got to kill the lights. I need to tear it up. I want to break free. I got to shut it down, cut it out, or rip it out. I'm going to waste all my nights on you. Cut the cord. I got to kill the lights. I need to tear it up. I want to break free. I got to shut it down, cut it out, or rip it out. I'm going to waste all my nights on you. <laughs> Yeah, cause I'm next level, so legit with all my 
click, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And all you bitches fucking wish you had this click, yeah. Cause I get what I want, like click. They wanna pick, like click. Cheers for the glass, like click. Cash register goes click. You can't fuck on my click. Strip my stuff on a strip. Purse big song on the whip. Pull up on room, oh shit. Charlie's up in this bitch. Kim is up in this bitch. <laughs> Simon sugar crush Yeah I got a sugar crush I can never get enough Looking for a better rush rush Pop music energy Everybody's scared of me Wish I was a better meet me I feel my heart racing Everything's changing Feel fucking crazy I just wanna Feel good I'm on a sugar crush I ain't got no fucking care
Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm so excited to be a part of Grubhub Sound Bites this year. And I hope you like my performance and make me feel good. It's kind of a farewell and celebration of my old music because I have a new album coming out soon, which I'm super excited about. But I also gave you an exclusive unreleased song in it, so I'm excited about that. It's Pride Month and the National LGBT Chamber of Commerce is the official partner of Grubhub's Donate the Change. So that means if you order yourself something on Grubhub, uh, you support the cause and you can join me here for an exclusive Q&A. So uh, raising money, LGBTQ, always good. Let's do it. Woo! Ranch or ketchup on fries, definitely ketchup. Uh, but I love ranch on pizza, so I could never choose anything, you know, one or the other, but fries, ketchup. I love all music that's inspired and good. That's really just the, the bottom line for me. I listen to slow music, fast music, 80s music, 50s music, futuristic music, pop, any genre, rap. Uh, I just want it to be good and that I listen to to it if, if I like it and if it's good. Uh, so yeah, good music. My go-to food on the road is breakfast. <laughs> I love to eat breakfast because I don't like to eat for like two or three hours before a show because uh, I don't know, it's something about being hungry and being on stage that makes me go extra hard and then after that I have dinner and uh, eat so much but but yeah probably the breakfast is like the one food I eat before the show um, so I have a couple of hours uh, of not eating so I don't feel like weighed down when I'm on stage my favorite pizza topping is really boring it's uh, pepperoni extra sauce 
uh, and really uh, well done. I love when it's really crunchy. That's uh, my favorite pizza. I don't really have a secret passion. I feel like every passion of mine goes into the music thing and inspires me and I talk about what I love all the time on Twitter. So it's not a secret, but I love watching black and white movies. I love watching animes. I love watching horror movies. I love sketching fashion. I love designing my show looks. I love watching Master Chef and cooking shows. I yeah, but I talk about all of that all the time, so none of it is a secret because I li literally cannot keep a secret, so never tell me any secret. <laughs> but also, yeah, nothing new for my fans, but if you're new, then yeah, those are my passions. Woo, my favorite song I've written, it's like picking babies, of course, but right now I would say uh, I don't want it at all, just because that started everything for me. It was my first single that came out. It uh, really uh, changed my life a lot because people started posting it. I got my first little group of people. I had like, no followers, nothing. And that definitely changed my life and just got me off to a good start. And Paris Hilton is in the video, who's my favorite person in the world. So I don't want it at all. My songwriting is inspired by lots of things. I, I get really inspired by movies. That's always been, I love watching movies, old movies. I love going through directors and watching the whole filmography. I just did that with David Lynch and I love him now. Um, and just things and phrases and scripts really inspire me. But recently it's really just been my life. I, I used to kind of write from an alter ego standpoint because I didn't like my life and I was sleeping on a futon, living on studio couches and uh, it was rough. But recently I've, uh, you know, I've, I've just been writing about my life because now I love it, which is kind of amazing uh, that I, I love my life and I love my fans and I love that I get to do this every day. And that fuels my creativity. And also Aaron, I, I write every song with Aaron. He's my best friend since six years and an amazing producer and songwriter and we've written every song we've started writing in his mom's band on in little parks we just brought a guitar and we'd write so we're kind of the eurythmics or something we're definitely like a duo so yeah all of that and fashion i i dress up to go to, into the studio so i feel like writing and singing and i feel good and fabulous and so all of that my go-to takeout order is a spicy chicken ramen. I love ramen. I'm obsessed with it. I love to try every ramen place in LA, in New York, in Australia, anywhere I go, I try a ramen place that has that people are talking about. I always ask my fans and they've recommended me some amazing ramen spots. So that's my favorite food and my favorite takeout. I'm most inspired by artists that just are themselves and try different things and that aren't just doing things that other people are doing and that are adventurous and have a point of view that's unique and uh, try different styles of music and just aren't afraid to be to stand out rather than to fit in. That, those are my favorite artists. Um, people like Debbie Harry, people like Freddie Mercury, people like Daft Punk, M.I.A. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, the list goes on and on and on. I, I love so many artists, but yeah. Doja Cat recently has been one of my favorite artists. Um, so yeah, I just love good artists. My favorite collab now, I love all my collabs. I, I really love my ones with Charlie, but right now I'm excited with my new collab. I got Paris Hilton on my next album and we have an amazing song. She recorded it at my house the other day and I love her, so that's my favorite collab at the moment. I would love to collaborate with MIA. I've always been a huge MIA fan. I've been going through MIA Stan phase. She was one of my first concerts I saw her in Cologne, Germany, where I was born and raised. And uh, I love MIA. I'm obsessed. I stan. I want to collab with MIA. That would be such a highlight of my life, honestly. I've been listening to a lot of MIA, as I said. I've been listening to Ariana's Positions album. Doja Cat, I'm obsessed with. I can't wait for Planet Her. At this moment, it's not out, so I'm really excited. Um, uh, and I've been listening to Daft Punk because it's sad that they ended their ended their run. I hope they're coming back. I hope it's just, just a sheer move where 
surprise, and we have a comeback tour, you know, like, I really want that from Daft Punk, but, yeah, those have been my, my songs, and things I listened to, I didn't really name a song, so, oops. Ooh, my comfort food. I have so many. It's, uh, I love getting pizza. I love eating soup dumplings, uh, Chinese in general. I am really obsessed with. Um, I love a tam yum soup. I love Thai food. I love burgers. I love German food. I love Italian food. I love French food. I'm like such a food person. I love going to all the restaurants trying all the different flavors. I want to eat something different every day. So literally everything is comfort food. I'm looking forward to visiting all cities, but I really realized during lockdown that I haven't been to Tokyo and I already know Tokyo is going to be my favorite city in the world. And I've been obsessed with it and I've been falling asleep to videos of people walking through Tokyo and just doing like the street sounds and stuff like that. And um, I have to go and also Seoul. I'm really interested in going to Seoul. Um, but of course coming back, I miss New York so much. New York's where my career started. It's, I feel so understood in New York that um, that's my favorite place in the world to perform in. So for performing purposes, I'm excited for New York. For visiting purposes, Tokyo and Seoul. My songwriting process is kind of always different. It depends on the day or the song. Um, Aaron will sometimes just load up a track or a sound and then I'll just write some gibberish over that and just start singing with no lyrics and then piece in the words later. Sometimes I have a word or a sentence that I really want to make the concept and then I just riff around with that lyric until it's good and until it fits. And sometimes one of my collaborators will come up with something or say something or one of my friends will say something that I'm like, that's, that's the song. It's always completely different. Sometimes it's outfits, new collections, designers. Sometimes it's movies. Uh, so yeah, it can be any anything. And that's kind of the most exciting thing about songwriting to me. You never, there's no formula really to coming up with a song. You, you, you know, inspiration comes when it comes and you have to catch it while it's there. And that's the most exciting thing when something just falls into place and you kind of catch that thought, write it down, do a voice memo so you don't forget it and just run with it. Um, it's, it's one of the most exciting things in the world to me. Favorite fast food? Um, I really love In-N-Out. I know it's, I live in LA, like of course I love In-N-Out, but really it's so good. I just really love it. The animal fries are out of control. I'm obsessed with them. Um, and also it's, I think it's always, uh, yeah, it's just always good, it always hits. There's so many favorite LGBTQ artists of mine, but Right now, it would still be Sophie. Uh, Sophie has passed away recently, and I had the honor of working with her. And she was a really beautiful, beautiful human being, and just like no one I've ever met. So I've been listening to all of the Sophie songs and remembering her, and uh, really sad um, that we lost an incredible artist who changed my life, and I know a lot of a lot of people's lives. So Sophie. One more question, it's a good one. It's uh, what does Pride Month mean to me? Pride Month to me means being proud of how far the LGBTQ community has come, remembering everyone who came before us and kicked down doors for us and remembering uh, how, how lucky we are that we get to be openly uh, gay and trans and bi and all of those things and celebrate it because uh, there's been a lot of uh, discrimination. There still is, there's still a long way to go. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a time where you, I, where I just remember um, how proud I am uh, that I was kind of brave enough to be myself and how proud I am of all of you guys for being yourselves and please never stop that. Woo ah! I love you guys. Thank you so much for sending the questions. I love performing for you guys. I hope you like the performance. And I'll see you guys in person soon now that the world is back open. I'm so excited. And thank you, Grubhub Soundbites. I love you guys. And, uh, woo! Ah!
Shine on Diamonds Don't make me wait another day Cause passion Is passion You know it just as well as me Oh yeah. Now let's stop Running from love Running from love Let's stop My baby hey. Let's stop Running from love Something to say, I went astray to make it okay, and he made it easy, darling.
Look at the space just next to your feet The wood is warping The lines is starting This house is on fire Burning the tears right off my face What the hell did we do? Tell me we'll make it through Cause he made it easy made it easy and Please don't leave me, no Don't leave me
Hey you, where you been a hanging out lately? Sleeping and spending the nights wasting time Never thought I'd see you again in my life Why you been acting like a stranger? Feeling alive a teenager Feels kinda cool in the rager and I Never thought I'd see the day in my life Yet here you are I just wanna go wild I just wanna fuck shit up and just ride In your car tonight In your bed tonight I just wanna sing loud I just wanna lose myself in a crowd In your arms tonight Or in his arms tonight In my little rager, teenager Tryna figure it out Living a season of screaming and turning it out In my little rager, teenager I've missed you around, yeah Miss you around, yeah Took a trip and made the best We laughed and played and lay to rest But life's a blackening wave Drifting us further than we are And now we need deep in this mess I could cry just thinking about you Every light I write is something about you Every guy I want is something just like you Every book I read I only read for you Every art piece is just to remind you I don't know why I'm with or without you But I guess I'm about to find out oh, 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 oh. Can't I miss you? And I 
just a try How can I be sorry if I don't know the crime? Yeah. I should be mad that you, you never, never told, told me why. why So I can't seem to say goodbye Ooh, yeah When I try to fall back, I fall back to you yeah. When I talk to my friends, I talk about you yeah. When the jealousy strong, I see you I'm not understanding If you don't listen to me 
can't let you in again I'm gonna lock the doors and hide my shit Cause my spirit's wearing thin And there's only so much I can give I won't let you in again That's the hardest thing I've ever said You know, that's the hardest thing I've said Yeah, you really want to just like hug the edge of the muscle Why we're laying by the poolside, yeah, right. poolside pool Getting tired from the side Fading in and out of long nights, long nights There's no limit to your love East or West, we got the North oh, yeah, Lights, so North Lights, oh, oh. Taking it all Like when you ever see He knows how to love you better 
What's up? Thank you guys so much for tuning in, everyone. Did you like it? Um, I'm super, super proud of that whole 30 minutes. It was like the best thing, best day of my life. Um, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to Grubhub for putting it together. And also remind you guys that for every comment, Grubhub is going to go, uh, donate $10 to support LGBTQ plus owned restaurants. I just got my food delivered. Um, and yeah, so comment as many times as you want. I'm going to be answering questions. This is like the, the Q&A portion. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm so happy that you guys just saw that. Woo! Okay, um, comments are moving really, really fast. How do I feel? I feel good. It makes me miss touring. Like I really, really can't wait until, um, until we can get back onto a stage for real, like far out, even just like, um, it's like muscle memory, you know what I mean? Like I, I think the last time I performed live was in November, 2019, which makes me super, super like, that's insane to me. It feels like no time has passed, but also like everything has happened. Um, and so, yeah, just to like be moving and be performing and these songs, like I haven't had a chance to perform them live and so much has happened in my life and so much of it is in the music. And so, yeah, it was a very um, surreal experience, but um, yeah, it was really, really fun. It was cool. And I worked with the most amazing, amazing team, everyone in Melbourne, everyone, I think I was like the oldest person on set. Like everyone was super, super, sorry, motorbike, um, was super just like young and cool and fun. Um, Thank you guys so much. I'm like shaky right now. I don't know why. I feel nervous. Um, okay, someone's asking about a LATAM tour. Tour in general, this made me want to do it so much more. Like, I really, really, really want to put this show together in real life. Um, but I don't know when it's going to happen. I saw Lord announced a tour and like people are starting to announce stuff. So, yeah, I've just got to get the like 
courage to leave Australia at some point. Um, what were some of the favorite places to film? Um, we filmed the first two songs in um, Flinders in Victoria, and it's just like, it was insanely beautiful. It looked like that in real life, like the tree and the beach in the background and stuff. Um, yeah. Um, what has been your favorite song to perform for this live stream? I think, so on the EP, there's this like little 30 second interlude called Could Cry. Um, Could Cry Just Thinking About You. And um, it's an interlude on the EP, but I performed the whole song live. And that's like the first time that the song has been performed. Um, so yeah, I, I think that one was probably the most exciting. Can you please make Could Cry Just Thinking About You a single? Um, I want to, yeah. I like want to release it. So maybe we should. I reckon we should. How did you stay inspired during quarantine? Sorry, I don't know why, like, as soon as we start the live stream, there's like traffic and helicopters and stuff. Um, so how did I stay inspired during, uh, during quarantine? I honestly didn't. Like, I, um, I got inspired, but like with other ways, you know, it was one of those things where I feel like lockdowns just kind of suck the soul out of you. And it, it just felt like everything was on pause. Like, I feel like I got re-inspired once I started to like live again, you know? Um, yeah, like I'm inspired now by like going out and seeing people and meeting people. It feels like life is kind of like resumed. Um, what was my favorite outfit? Oh, that's a good question. So Gadia Rajab styled this and um, my favorite outfit. I really like the one I was wearing um, for my mind my, my easy, like the little cute hat and the big yeah, I, I felt cool in that. And then also the um, the little sailor hat in the pool. I love that. Um, what is my favorite song that I've ever written? Damn. Um, I don't know. They all kind of serve different purposes, hey? Like, depends what you're after. Stud is really, really fun. Like, I, I kind of forgot about, not forgot about that song, but I was like, um, I knew I loved that song. And then I think because we released it in lockdown, it sort of exists in like a vacuum and then performing it live and feeling what it feels like. I was like, damn, I, I love this song. I love this song. What was your favorite outfit, everyone? Um, oh, someone's asking about the movie that I did. Um, it's completely finished. It's called Three Months. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say. But I would say the title. It's called Three Months. I filmed a movie. It's my first lead role in a American movie. And... I don't know when it's coming out, but it's like completely done. It was a miracle. We managed to finish it during COVID. Um, I went back to the US in like October last year, I think, and, and finished the movie. And I don't know, I'm shitting myself, but um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully you'll like it. I, I really, really like it. So yeah, I'm excited. Um, why did you change your hairstyle? Because it's winter in Australia and I feel like when it's summer, you have a natural like summer glow up, you know, you just kind of naturally get a bit tanned and like, I don't know, just like you feel yourself more in summer. And so then when it comes to winter, I feel like it's important that people like change up something, like maybe get yourself some new clothes, dye your hair, I don't know, do something fun. I thought about bleaching my eyebrows, like, I don't know, just something that makes you kind of see yourself in a, in a fresh perspective again, because I think it's kind of easy to feel a bit shit during winter. Um, what else? What did you sleep well last night? I did. I was nervous about this, like excited nerves, but I did sleep really well. Thank you. Um, how is Nash? Nash is really, really good. He's in America. Um, I get like daily updates on his well-being and everything, and I think I'm going to see him quite soon, which I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, I feel like travel is just so scary right now, like at, always, you know, but um, at some point I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and, and go over there. When are you gonna release the full version of Could Cry Just Thinking About You? Well, I wanted to see how you guys felt about it. Now that I know that you like it, um, I think you guys like it, right? Um, I will, I'll release it, I don't know. I'm gonna text with my management and I'll, I'll ask them to just, I don't know, figure something out, put it out. Um, would you come back to Brazil someday? Hell yes. 
some of my favorite favorite memories uh um my shows we did Lollapalooza and yeah it was like the best time ever where is your nose ring I took it out um yeah I don't know I I had it out for like a week or something and then I put it back in and I looked at myself and I was like I feel like I look 16. I might put it back in but like for the most part I feel like I maybe outgrew it um Someone asked about the evolution from my first EP to now. It's like completely, completely different. And weirdly, even performing, like since locked between lockdown and now, I feel like I don't know how it happened because I haven't been performing, but I've got this like renewed um, sense of energy. And maybe it's because I haven't performed in so long that I'm so keen. Um, yeah, I just feel like there's been there's been a change that I can't wait to like bring out in real life, you know? Um, how did this album change your life? Oof. Um, I feel like this album more than any piece of music prior that I've worked on was like, I know everyone always says this and it sounds super cheesy and like lame, but, um, it was very, very therapeutic and, um, yeah, it, it like saved me at a time when I really, really, really needed to write music. So, um, yeah, it was, it was very helpful. Free therapy, you know? Um, whoa, the comments are moving fast. Holy crap. Um, <laughs> whoa, I literally can't read it. Um, okay. Let me try and like pinpoint one. We want album news. Whoa. I, I've been writing a little bit, but... Um, I don't know. I've managed to do a lot of stuff in Australia. One thing that I haven't managed to really do is write that much. I mean, I write by myself, but like um, all of the people that I know, like all of the songwriters and stuff like that and producers that I love to work with, like they're in Sweden and they're in LA and they're in like New York or the UK or whatever. And so travel, I, I try to do Zoom sessions and it is simply the worst. So um, I'm gonna have to travel to be able to like really, really make a solid album. I think I'd have to, um, you know, travel or just like put myself out there and meet people here because there's so many talented people here. I'm just like shy, you know, and um, scared. Um, 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 we need another collab with Ariana. You guys make the best you are. Uh, thanks. Um, we. We were texting the other day because it was the three year anniversary of Dance to This and both just saying like how much fun we had making that song together and that video and everything. And that honestly is like one of my favorite, favorite songs that I have ever put out. So um, yeah, that's a really, uh, that was like a very special time. Ooh, any new music you've been listening to? Let me get, you know what I haven't listened to yet is the Doja Cat album and I'm very excited to listen to that. Um, and the Tyler, the Creator album. I can't wait to listen to that. They both came out, I think, yesterday. So um, I'm going to listen to that. And what else have I been listening to? Let me just go into my liked songs. Hmm. I mean, a lot of Porter's Head, because I just feel like I've been chilling around my house. And like, I really like making vibes in my house, you know, like I like candles and um, I buy like fresh flowers. I'm very gay like that so putting on just like a chill album to listen to around the house it's good someone says talk about louder than bombs i still can't believe that happened like legitimately cannot believe that happened um for those of you who don't know i was a writer on a bts song called louder than bombs and it all just happened so suddenly and it was a insane experience insane experience i feel like once i start to travel those are some people i would love to meet i'd love to meet those guys um, in a dream music video. So that's the weird thing is that like, I think if it wasn't COVID, I probably would have made music videos for like Stud and In a Dream um, and Rage of Teenager and, you know, whatever. Um, and I think because of COVID, we just like, it was really, really hard. You know, Melbourne's been in and out of lockdown and stuff. And so I saw this show as an opportunity. I was like, okay, can't really have a stage with like people you know standing in front of the stage and do like a show like that so what how can we make these songs come to life in the way that i always kind of imagined them and so i think this was 
me kind of like expressing that. Um, hmm, who was your childhood hero? Hmm, my childhood hero. I don't know, it was it like varied. I think probably Amy Winehouse is like the person that comes to mind. She was the one who made me start songwriting. What was the last book you read? I'm currently reading this really fun book called Thursday Murder Club, and I'm enjoying it. Um, all right, I am being told we've got time for one more question. So um, let me see. Sorry, I'm just trying to pick a good one because this is our last question. Hmm. What project are you most proud of? I'm going to give the most annoying answer in the entire world. I have so much built up energy from the last two years and so many ideas and so much like creativity and um, I'm lit for what is coming next. I don't even like know what it, I mean, I kind of do, but um, yeah, I just feel like 2021, 2022, those are like, we're going in and I can't wait. And um yeah, I just feel like it's time to step it up. Like it's, we're going off a level. So um, yeah, guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching. Um, thanks again to Grubhub and um, thanks to the entire team. I'm gonna put on my Instagram, I'll put the entire credits of people who worked on this because it was an amazing, amazing team of incredible people. Um, shout out to G Flip, who you saw in the end. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Miss you all. Can't wait to see you in real life. Um, yeah. Love you lots. Bye. How could you ever leave me without a chance to try? How can I be sorry if I don't know the crime? I should be mad cause you never told me why Still, I can't seem to say goodbye Ooh, yeah. When I try to fall back, I fall back to you yeah. When I talk to my friends, I talk about you yeah. When the Hennessy saw all I see is you